We're talking with the ESAC Raiders boys uh, sprint medley team here tonight up at the uh, co-ed meet in Lake City. Let's start off with that opening leg tonight uh, in Carter Neos. Uh, Carter, how did you feel like you guys did tonight? Uh, we did pretty good in the 4 by 2 took home the gold, and uh, looking to have another gold in the medley here. So uh, talk about how you felt at the start of your race tonight. I felt really good coming out of the blocks. Ran a 23.40 or something like that, and uh, the rest of the team ran good too. They all ran 23s. What was the strength of your race? Uh, our anchor, Colin Schneider, he really pulled away from us in the end. We had a pretty good beat given to him, and he just threw it away. So you guys were, I think, within a second or so of the record. Yeah. Was the goal to get that record tonight? We were just coming out here trying to run the best time of the season, which is 135, and we did that when we ran 134. How much better can you get? Uh, we're hoping we can get that school record by the end of the year sometime. One second off. One second off. What do you need to do to get it? Well, I'm sure we can all cut our times down just a little bit and hopefully we can get that one second difference. Carter, how did the handoff go tonight with you and Cody? Uh, we did pretty good. We got out perfect, you know, like 10, 15 for our steps. And it was great. Cody, let's jump in with you now. Cody Wellington joining us. Cody, how did your portion of the race go? Oh, mine went pretty good when I got it. We were in pretty tight with first, I would say, and then our handoff went better than the other people around. So then that got me a good jump, and then I was in first when I gave the trader who pulled away. How did you feel during your run? Did you feel comfortable, smooth here tonight? Yeah, I felt pretty good going, and I felt when I got to that last 100 that I could give a little more, so I started giving everything I got so I could get straighter faster. What's kind of the usual strategy for you during your run? Uh, I just run as hard as I can. Do you have an individual goal as well for a time for your split? Uh, I just like to keep it at 23s around there, nothing more, and I'll take anything faster than that too. How often do you guys practice as a group? Uh, before every meet and practice, we'll go through handoffs real quick, and then before our DMED 4x2, I'll talk to Carl, Carter, and depending on the wind conditions and stuff, I'll ask him what do you think, what do you want tonight, and run through real quick and make sure everything runs smoothly. Perfect conditions tonight? Yeah, I would say so. Well, I tell you what, Cody, great job so far tonight. Uh, keep up the good work. Let's talk now with Hunter Bloom. Hunter, uh, how did you feel like things went tonight? Uh, so far, I think they're going great. I mean, this will be my first race, but... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what are you looking forward to in the race? Uh, hopefully taking on gold. What's the time that you're looking for? Uh, me personally, I run the 400. 53, 54 is anything better than that. Hopefully. As far as strategy-wise, how do you go out? Do you go out hard and just gun it the whole way, or do you kind of tempo yourself early on? I uh, start out, go hard, and then just kind of see if I can make it until about the last 150 or so. Just give her all I got. <laughs> Where do you, how do you decide? Is it just right at the 150 mark, or is it just kind of a feel for you when you're going to gun? Yeah, it's more of a feel. It really depends on where the guys are around me. I mean, if they're way up there, then obviously I have to push a little harder. Sometimes I'll start earlier. Then, but if I'm about right there, I'll kind of kick it in when they kick it in. How do the handoffs usually go with Colin here? Really good. They're nice and easy going. I mean, they're open handoffs. So. Uh, is that the not... is that the strategy you guys have thought of, or have you guys tried different types of handoffs? Uh, no, it's pretty much open handoff. I mean, it's easy. We don't have to worry about dropping the ton and leave the drop. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you guys really get along. This is a pretty tight knit group. Oh yeah, very tight. All right, tell you what, Hunter. Thank you very much. Let's jump over here to the anchor leg, Colin. Colin, how did you feel it went tonight? Uh, it went great. You know, it's not real hard to run when you're by yourself after these guys get a great lead. If you don't hear anybody, you feel fine when you come down no matter how fast you run, but thankfully I ran 23-3-ish, something like that, so I'm always happy with that. What are you thinking as you're watching these guys and seeing that lead, uh, like tonight, maybe kind of develop? So you're watching the lead? Don't give it up. <laughs> That's always the goal. Don't lose spots when you run. You take spots. And when you're in first, that means don't lose anything and run away. So that's just what I do. Do you do you sometimes wish you'd be pushed, though, and not like tonight where you're kind of running a little bit more open? Do you think that would really help your time? Or can you focus and push yourself the whole way? Uh, I, I can focus pretty well and push myself. I'm, I'm at a, kind of a plateau here because I haven't had a lot of people to push me. So I'm looking for that person to push me. I can drop my time still a little bit. I'm not disappointed in my time at all, especially now if it results in gold. Is this a team that's going to get to state? We have a shot. We, okay, guys, we're going to need to shave just a little bit more time, but we're right there. All right, guys. Well, congratulations, and thanks, guys, very much. Thank you.